Hey, this is Dean Soto with the Online Empire Academy. I am here to help you with Keyword Inspector. Uh, if you're doing any type of Amazon selling or anything like that, Keyword Inspector is one of the top tools that's out there. Um, I actually do have a uh, kind of a consulting relationship with Keyword Inspector. I use them for my business, uh, for my drop shipping on Amazon business, and uh, I love them a lot. They have three different tools. They have the uh, Reverse ASIN, Kippert, and Trends tool. Each one is different. Each one has its own pricing, etc. cetera. And uh, there are a lot of questions that come up with Keyword Inspector, and so I wanted to do a series of tutorials that kind of go into more of the data and the kind of the lack of a better way of saying it, <laughs> kind of the boring stuff of Keyword Inspector rather than how to actually make sales with it. Um, so I wanted to do a whole bunch of these tutorials and then at the end of this tutorial, I'll give you um, uh, access to a free resource where I actually show how I use this to actually make sales, how I use Reverse ASIN, how I use Kippert or whatever to make sales depending on what the tutorial is. In this instance, we're gonna be talking Reverse ASIN and I'll at the end of this video, I'll give you access to my free Reverse ASIN training where I actually go into how to use it to, to make more money on Amazon. All right, so first things first, uh, in this tutorial, I wanna go over just more some of the, the, the how-tos of reverse ASIN and the data that's involved, okay? I'm not gonna go, like I said, I'm not gonna go into how to use that data to actually make sales or anything like that. You can do that in the free resource. Okay, so first things first, I'm in the uh, Keyword Inspector right now. If you wanted to, you could click this uh, button up on the top right where it says try the new beta version. Generally, I stay away from the beta. It looks so much better, it looks amazing, but it doesn't, it's not all the way there yet. And so um, I'm just gonna stay here in the old way, okay? So let's go and do a revert, new reverse ASIN search. I'm gonna go and click this reverse ASIN search right here. And for those unfamiliar with reverse ASIN, essentially what it does is if we went to this listing right here and we got the ASIN from this listing, which you can find in the URL or at the bottom here, uh, in the, usually in the description, you can get the, the listing. Uh, this is actually, the looks like the parent listing. Um, so I would grab this one up on top. I usually grab the URL up on top, uh, the ASIN up on top, because you want the child, and this is the child listing. And so that's for this specific one right here. So anyway, uh, we can talk about th that at another time. Because uh, it won't work if you use the pa parent. So I grab the one that's up here. So I'm going to grab this, this ASIN. Go to Reverse ASIN Inspector. Oh, and basically what it does, sorry, uh, Reverse ASIN will, it does not look at what's on the listing, okay? Most people think, uh, oh, it's getting keywords off of the listing. It doesn't. It actually gets the keywords from what people are using to find this listing, okay? That's that's all it's doing, um, which is even better, okay? So there are times when a keyword might not even show up in this listing, okay, that you find on Keyword Inspector because people are using that keyword to find the, the product. Okay, so first things first, in this tutorial, I'm just gonna go over uh, how to do your first search and then really kind of what the data is that you see, all right? So first things first, all you have to do is you have to click that right there. Uh, sorry, click that right there. Um, paste your ASIN right there. Uh, there's You can do groupings and things like that. In this example, we're going to go through just the USA Extensive, and then the next video, I'll go through uh, the US Extensive All, um, and we'll talk about that in, in a, uh, as well, okay? So I don't do groupings. You can if you want. You can actually create a group. I don't, but then you just click Start New Reverse ASIN Search. All right. <laughs> so what happens is, um, right? Usually you'll see something that says, "Hey, this is processing or whatever." I actually already, I actually already did this uh, ASIN before, so it just gives you pretty much an error message, which is nothing here. Um, and what you do is you can go to this reverse ASIN history right here, and click that, and then go to completed, and you can go to. Um, I'm going to go to. The, you'll see right here where it says search type extensive. And here's another one that I did for extensive all, okay? So let's go through some of these uh, columns real quick just so you know what they are. So first, you have the group column. If it's a part of group, it will tell you what group this uh, search is a part of. Then search type, it can be extensive, it can be extensive all, it could be reverse PPC. Um, and we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna do a tutorial on each one of these, okay? So don't worry about that. 
And then um, then the next one is ASIN. That's the ASIN that you use to search. Next one is download link. You can actually download the CSV for this, okay? Um, you know, I, I really don't use this. I use just the one up here, but you can download to a CSV. Um, when you're downloading to a CSV, sometimes, just so you know, sometimes it doesn't have the CSV extension, depending on what browser you're using, so it comes up all wonky. All you have to do is add the CSV extension, and it'll work. Then you have the link to the search, and when you click into this link, it will go to that search. Cool thing here is if you want to, you can actually take that ASIN, and right here, this is this little, this little icon, this little green icon will take you to the Trends tool and use that ASIN in the Trends tool. And then this one right here, um, it'll send it to this free search term uh, tool that you can use for backend search terms in your listings, and I'll talk about that in another tutorial. Um, so if I click here, it'll actually, and I'll just open this in a new tab. If I click here, it'll actually take me to my results on the, on the page. And we'll talk about that after. Okay. Uh, then this column search term tool selections, you can, uh, select all, if you, uh, this is, this is to send. It's okay. So it's really weird. If you select over here and then you want to send everything to the search tool, like, so if you do click this and and do select some uh, reports to the free search room tool, it will not work. So you want to use this little sec selection right here. You can select multiple here and then click here to send it to the search term tool and it'll send it to the uh, free search term tool for your backend keywords, okay? <coughs> and like I said, we'll talk about that in another video. And then uh, this right here, they uh, they used to have lifetime credits that you can buy. Now the um, there is expiring credits. They're all expiring credits, and so you don't have lifetime credits anymore. Um, so that's zero, and then expiring credits used in the search is three. Now this is all cumulative for. Now here's something that people don't understand because it's not really well um, explained. So uh, one thing, one thing real quick too. If you click right here, you can actually use the arrow key to go right, right and left. Okay. So when you're searching here, when you're searching, you're going to notice that uh, it says three credits. If you search this, if you, if after 30 days, if you search this again, uh, or however many uh, many days it takes to expire, if you search this again, it will say six. Okay. Some people think six is used. It's actually cumulative. Okay. Some, if you search this thing every, every, you know, 30 days, it might say 27 or whatever. So this is cumulative amount of credits used. Okay. And then the last time search. And then right here, I wanted to save this for last, the search data expiration, 30 days, six days, etc. Depending on the type of um, search that you do, whether it's extensive, simple, extensive all, et cetera, it'll be either 30 days or seven days, et cetera. And a lot of people don't understand that what's happening is it's not, so even though it says 30 days, if I were to search this, say in two days, the results here are likely to be different. So if I were to click on here, it's going to be different than it was two days ago. Okay. Because it's constantly updating as much as it can. So even though this says it's going to expire in 30 days, that just means the reason why it happens is it's constantly searching and, and getting all the data. So, you know, 25 days from now, this data might be different, uh, based off of the, the actual searches that are happening on this, uh, ASIN. So don't think that it's necessarily the same exact data. Okay. All right. So now we're going to click into here and we're going to go into the columns and talk about the columns and then we'll be done with this video. Okay. So when we're in the reverse ASIN area, I'm in a uh, extensive search. That's the one I use the most. So, and that's the one that I'm doing this video on is extensive search. Okay. <clears throat> the first column says best keyword rank. Okay. The, this basically is useless now, just so you know, don't go by, even though this says is rank number one, this is the best keyword to use. It's basically useless. Usually used to be that uh, keyword inspector, the simple search uh, used to not have the estimated search volume from Amazon that we're, that, uh, uh, that they're able to get. And so now really this best keyword rank is based off of 
how many search it's, searches it's getting per month. There's no other algorithm. They used to have an algorithm that was looking at multiple things to try and determine what was the best keyword. But no matter what, you still had to use your brain to think whether or not it was going to be a good keyword or not. So then the second column is keyword. And then the third, uh, so it's the actual keyword used. And then the third column is estimated Amazon current search volume per month. So this is currently, like as of today, how many searches per month this thing is likely to get. This is not always going to be accurate. Sometimes it's going to be a lot less. Sometimes it's going to be a lot more. Um, it's doing its best. Until Amazon releases its API, nobody knows, okay? No tool knows until they release an API where they give you the exact volume, okay? The only way to know is through a sponsored ad, a sponsored product campaign. Uh, ASIN keyword position at the time of search. This is... Uh, this is basically saying when the, le the when keyword inspectors reverse ASIN last searched this thing, this is the position that it was in. So if I went over here and I went, so this um, this uh, Camelback uh, uh, the thing, if I type this up in here, one liter water bottle plastic, if I click that, we should see it. It might not be exactly number two. Okay, but we actually see it. It's right here, this number two. Okay, now uh, it is number two here. Sometimes it might be number two or three or four, depending on because there is a delay. But generally, um, uh, you're, it's going to be around that same thing. So we do see it's number two right here. Okay, boom. Cool, huh? All right. So it's just a different co color, even though it's an Eddie One L, different color. Um, but same same product. Okay, so that's what that means. So right here where it says small a bottle of water small, it says nine. Note that the higher you go in number, the more it's going to fluctuate. It's just the way it's going to be. So if I go here and I do bottle water small, click in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a different one. Eight, nine. 10, uh, 11, 12. So you're going to see it fluctuates a little bit more. Okay. So it's 12 instead of nine. And because, and just remember that this is delayed. Um, sometimes it's delayed like 24 hours, 48 hours, uh, all that other stuff. Okay. But generally it's going to be near that, but it does fluctuate a lot more. So when you're in the teens, it fluctuates even more because Amazon's trying to figure out where best to put it, you know? All right. So common misspellings, if it finds any misspellings, it will put it in here that you can potentially use um, in your listing. Number of products found to have exact keyword phrase in the title. You can click this where it'll get in, it'll try and get the counts. Um, this I noticed doesn't work as well as, uh, as it could. Okay. And you can try clicking these sometimes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but the, basically it tries to find if it can find the exact keyword phrase in its title. From that comes from the database right here. It says water bottle, um, tw 2015. There's tw um, 20 that has it in the listing. So that's what that is, okay? Number of results found on Amazon. So this is with broad match, okay? Broad match. So if I typed in this, this right here, it will come with up with that many actual results. Broad match on Amazon, okay? Google monthly keyword volume. This is kind of like just an added tool where if it finds it, like water bottle 20, um, it it will, this is based off of, because Google doesn't actually give you this data anymore. This is based off of um, data that Keyword Inspector has had for a long time. Um, and it, try to, it tries to give you the amount of Google searches it gets per month, okay? Now, that's not the same as Amazon, so... You know, people search differently on Amazon. So if it can, it tries. Uh, new listing graph, like if you click here and it, it requires three credits to use, um, it will try and give you some graphs if it has it. Uh, I recommend not using it, <laughs> as you can tell right now. It didn't, uh, um, it did not uh, do anything. Um, so yeah, right here, search instead for redirects to category AMS advertising. So this is to basically see if anybody's using any AMS advertising. Okay. 
Um, so what happens is this changes uh, things and you do, if you click on here and you go to the right, you'll see any keyword phrase for AMS advertising. It doesn't, from what I can tell, it doesn't work yet. And you see some graphs over here um, for, the, for the other ones. Um, doesn't work yet as well. If I scroll all the way down, you don't see anything. So I don't recommend using it as of yet. All right. So, uh, so basically, um, I've, yeah, I've never seen any of the data for here, so I actually can't speak to it. I'll do another tutorial when I understand it. Um, so anyway, then words rank. So this is really weird. This word rank thing, basically. So these two go together, words rank and individual words, one and one and two and leader three and water. This is basically saying like, if you want to rank for these good words, if you if you want to have a good optimized listing, these are the words that you want to have in your listing in some fashion or another. Okay, one and then leader and water and bottle and plastic and blue and sports and bottles and small and camelback if you have a camelback, whatever, and kids and monkey and whatever and yada, yada, yada. Do I use that? Not personally, I don't in my business, but I'm sure it helps in some way. But that's all the columns. That's all um, about the data that you get with an extensive search on um, on Keyword Inspector Reverse ASIN. So if you want to know how to actually use uh, Keyword Inspector Reverse ASIN to actually make money, whether you're doing a sponsored product campaign or optimizing your listing, or if you want to use it to spy on your competitors and things like that, um, if you go to academytrainings.com, www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse, then you will get that training. It's a really awesome training. It works really, really well. It's what I use in my business. So academytrainings.com, www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse, and you'll get access to that free training. And it's awesome. It shows, uh, I'll show you how I spy on my competitors, how I use it to um, also find out what people are searching for, and you can um, use it to actually make some really good money with reverse ASIN. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be talking about uh, the data that comes with extensive all, and um, it'll uh, we'll go through some of the different things that you see in that. All right, have a great one. This is Dean Soto with the Online Empire Academy, and I'll see you next time. Go to www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse for that free training. See ya.